Yes. It's probably the most civilized thing coming from this hobo's hovel. I am the one, the only, and the most noteworthy and respectable Dr. Tom. I'm here to inform you. The, the hobo cat looks filthy. Hobo Tom must take better care of his wards. Doing you most mongrel. Yes, leave. Go do whatever you do. But yes, I'm here again. Be my predictions. And this time for that most vile person, Hobo Tom, has somehow acquired incentive for me to come on his bro broadcast. And give my most esteemed opinion about professional wrestling. Indeed. I shall be enjoyed over ice in front of a fireplace, watching I, Claudius, and great expectations in hand. But more so than that, this Sunday, or Hobo Tom has asked me to enjoin my knowledge to the wrestling masses about Hard to Kill by Impact, a wrestling promotion very quickly on the rise. And as we shall start off, even though I can never tell by a scribble from the hobo. I shall attempt to translate this to something more eloquent. So probably in the opening match we have Moose. Is that an animal? Versus Rhino. Is this pro wrestling for the British Broadcasting Company? Yes, the only way BBC should ever be said on any pro wrestling show. Is this an episode of Wild Kingdom? Are they pitting one animal versus another? A battle of the Wild Kingdoms. Even though the rhinoceros, great and mighty is he. No match for the totality of moose. Then we have Madman Fulton taking on the most dangerous man, Ken Chemrock. He is still performing these exhibitions. Shall be a most dastardly event, for this is the bonus. And the fact that the rest of those miscreants from Ohio, Ohio versus everything, shall run in this match and help their fellow. Ohioan, Madman Fulton defeat Ken Sh Shamrock. And the match I'm most not looking forward to, mainly because of the overt abuse of certain illicit chemicals. We have Brian Cage taking on Ro Robert. Van Dam. Ryan Cage is definitely going to put this most questionable individual in his place. And also, because of the recent apathy 
and obvious ring rust shown by Robert Van Dam. I and probably others in the wrestling community will be taking a little nap during this. Then we have the North taking on Rich Swan and Willie Mack. The North shall retain their title. Will we see tease of a heel turn on the part of Rich Swan and or Willie Mack, however? Only time shall tell. Then we have Eddie Edwards taking on Big Mike Elgin, the man who's known for the strong style in the New Japan fashion, shall be victorious. Oh, no, no, no. I must correct that. The math says, due to Eddie Edwards' recent defeat on the tapings or television or whatever Impact chooses to do, Eddie Edwards shall be victorious. And in the most salacious match, how dare they have the matron of the rascals, Trey's mom, the center of such a salacious, near indignant wrestling angle. But we have Trey of the Rascals taking on the most lecherous Ace Austin. Trey, because this is my stone cold lock. Will defend his mother's honor and bring her back a matronly a matronly I'm at a loss of words to describe Trey's mom as matronly I don't think that's been done before her matronly dignity yes this is the, the, the scumbag. I am at a loss of words to describe Ace Austin's lecherous behaviors as of, rec as of recent. Then we have Ty Valkyrie taking on Jordan Grace versus ODB. Jordan Grace shall win this match. Ty Valkyrie's reign shall be ended, but not because Ty Valkyrie gets pinned, but because ODB somehow forfeits the match to Jordan Grace. And, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, in the main event of the evening, we have Tessa Blanchard. A woman of distinguished wrestling pedigree taking on Samuel Callahan, a person who's known for his violence for the Impact Heavyweight Championship. So this, folks, shall be the match of the night. And we shall see, once again, such as in other promotions, in Lucha Underground, where Sexy Star was elevated to the rank of a men's championship belt. My princess, Kimberly Lee, was elevated to the Chikara men's heavyweight championship belt. China had the dignity and the responsibility of becoming the Intercontinental Champion. 
So Tessa Blanchard follows in this bold tradition. For Tessa Blanchard to be the Impact Heavyweight Champion of the world. Those are my most knowledgeable predictions about Impact Hard to Kill. For that, Hobo has done questionable things and is no longer allowed to be on live stream. Shame, Hobo. Most vile of Hobos are you to disrespect the copyright laws and just do whatever you feel like doing. Terrible. You should feel shame. His banishment for 90 days. It was up to me to be removed from this stain, this foul stench of the hobo would be removed from YouTube and be deleted. For he is obsolete. And with that, I bid you adieu, a good night. And again, do not partake of that swill. Again, enjoy steps the finer things. Adieu, YouTube. Adieu.